I live for afterburners. It's like turbo boost times a gajillion. Do you remember the popular show Extreme 4X4? In that show, do you remember their beautiful host? She was none other than JC Combs. She was also a professional racer, but very unfortunately, she is not alive anymore. She died in an accident. This happened when she participated in the North American Eagle Project in 2019. Eager to know what led to her death? Don't forget to stay with me till the very end. Jesse Combs was born on the 27th of July, 1980. Born to Jamie Combs and Nina Darrington. She had two siblings, Kelly and Danielle, and she was the eldest. Also, three step-siblings, Rebecca, Ariel, and Austin. Her family moved to South Dakota when Jesse was two years old. Also, another detail, she had a terrible accident when she broke her back and doctors said she would be paralyzed and will be using a wheelchair. But she recovered. What a miracle! She was a professional racer and also a media personality. Also, she carved a niche for herself in land racing. She is her own competitor. She set a record in 2013 by racing the bar high and this turned out to be her breakthrough. She was called the fastest woman on wheels. How cool is that? She did her schooling at Stevens High School and graduated in 1998. She was very interested in racing and machinery right from her childhood. She also had an avid interest in snowboarding and she shifted to Denver to pursue her career in that when she realized it's too physically straining. She then shifted her career again to obtain a degree in custom automotive fabrication at Wyotech. Studying programs including chassis fabrication, trim or upholstery, collision and refining, and street rod fabrication, graduating at the top of her class in 2004. Right after that, she fetched herself again a job in the marketing team of Wyotech in which she had to build a car right from the scratch for a car show at the SEMA show. And further, she had all the big projects in her back like building cars on television. Her racing career started back in 2011. And in her very first race, she stood in second position. This is her innate talent. After two years, she had an unforgettable achievement in which she broke all the old records, setting a new record in the North American Eagle Supersonic Speed Challenger. And 2014 was so her year. She just kept juggling between first and second positions in a total of six races she participated in. And in the following years, again, she continued to win her place. Meanwhile, the makers of Extreme 4X4 were looking for hosts nationwide and she was selected for this along with her then co-host Ian Johnson for Spike Channel's show. This show aired for four years and she quit it in 2008 following an onset accident. Following that show, she played a replacement for Carrie Byron for the famous show Mythbusters in Season 7. She only hosted 12 episodes, but it became her most recognized work. Next was the list 1001 Car Things to Do Before You Die alongside Patrick McIntyre. Another show aired from 2011 to 2014 where she was one of the hosts for the show called All Girls Garage. Parallelly, in 2011, she also hosted a show along with Chris Jacobs for the sixth season of Overhauling, an American automotive reality show which aired on Discovery and Velocity channels, which is a relaunch. She also appeared in another show called The Break Room in 2018. And another show in the same following year, she only appeared on one episode of Jay Leno's Garage where she was seen as a guest driver for Bugatti Chiron. Although she was in her hosting career, she always had her eye on her racing too. She participated in another race in 2016 and 2017, and 2019 was her fatal accident year. Curious about what happened? Don't worry, you are close to the reason. Jessie Combs returned to racing after her continuous show hosting, and that year would turn out to be the final year of her life. Nobody knew. She died after crashing into a jet-powered car while setting a land speed record in the North American Eagle Project on a dry lake bed in Oregon. While the crash was caused due to the failure of the front wheel, this was likely due to the collapsing of the wheel's assembly when it reportedly hit an object and was damaged. And after hitting that, the speed of around 523 km per hour, it collapsed. Her death was reportedly due to blunt force trauma to the head, which was due to the first fire that broke out in the vehicle after the crash. This happened on the 27th of August 2019 
exactly a month after her 39th birthday. Although this turned out to be a fatal accident that literally took her life, she broke all the existing woman's highest records which was set on Kitty O'Neill in 1976 in the same location. She is Jessie's idol. Jessie also had a boyfriend, Terry Madden, who was her fellow team member in the North American Eagle racing team, and her death left him shattered. He says he is always proud of her and couldn't see her car burning. She still continues to live in our hearts with all her mesmerizing host talent and her racing skills. Jesse lives on. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And for new updates, do hit the bell icon so that you will be notified.